Hi, it's Paolo with another C Sharp uh, homework from Chapter 7, Exercise 10 from the book C Sharp How to Program. Uh, this time we will be doing some uh, using some math methods, math.floor, to round uh, a number that we will enter. We will enter a number and then we will run the number through this uh, equation and round it to different decimal points. Uh, positions or different decimal places. For example, math that floor and then x times 10 plus 0 0.5 divided by 10, <laughs> so this uh, equation will round the number to the tenth position. So that would be the first position to the right of the decimal point. This statement, the same statement but divided by 100, rounds x to the hundredth position. If it was thousand, it's to thousands position and so forth. So uh, we will write an app that will round to the integer. We will round to tens, hundreds and thousands. So let's say we enter a number, uh, I don't know, 5.5678 uh, If you round it to the integer, we will, the whole, we will round it to six. Round it to tenth, so that this is the number that we will round. It, the result will be 5.6 because 5, 6, 7, 8 would round to 6, so 5.6. If it's hundreds, we're rounding this one, this position, so that would be 7. So the, the number would be 5.57. If you round it to hundred, I mean thousands. That's number seven here. So the number would be 5.568 because we would round only this number. All right, so um, we will need X and Y variables. So let's do that right away. Uh, and they're gonna be double X. I'll initialize them to zero, double Y, and I'll initialize that to zero. And um, Again, I'll be entering numbers until user decides or until I decide to quit. In other words, it won't be just, you know, enter number, press enter and have everything displayed and quit. In a, uh, so I will need a while loop while uh, our x is a positive number, so it's greater or equal to zero. We will perform the calculation. But before we perform the calculation, we'll ask the user to enter the to enter the number to, to round. Please enter the number to round or a negative number to quit the app. So if the user enters negative number, the while loop will quit. So the user enters number and the number is our x. So our x equals, we will convert it uh, to double the line. So now we have our input, and now we can do the conversions, uh, not conversions, but the uh, rounding. Now I will do a separate function for that. I will do static, uh, and it will be a double. We will return a double. I'll call it round. Uh, and uh, because we need to do multiple conversions, so uh, I, I will just call this function for each of them. Now the main conversion is simply done. This this part is the same. The only thing that changes is the what is it divided by, whether it's ten, hundred, or a thousand, or so forth. So. Uh, we can accept our x uh, to do the calculations, and we can accept uh, the decimal place. And our, uh, let me do that again, the equation equals this. I'll just copy paste it right here into my function. But over here, I won't hard code 10, instead I will do the decimal 
place. That's something that the user will enter. And we will return. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to do uh, a double y equals zero. And we will return the result of the calculation. Result, uh, uh, re return y. Okay. Well, hold on a second. Uh, not really okay. The 10 changes to 100 over here, you know, so uh, in other words, these are the two numbers that, that change and that's those are the decimal place. I call it decimal place. Uh, so over here, when it's 10, we will, it will be decimal place because when we're doing it to 10th place, uh, it's going to be number 10. When it's 100th place, it's going to be 100 and so forth. Okay, so uh, let's uh, round to integer, like the whole number. That's that's the first thing we're supposed to do. Yes, round to integer. So our y will equal the uh, round function, and we will pass the x. And our decimal place in this case is. Uh, one because we are only rounding it to the integer there will be no decimal decimal places at all so after it does it um, i will output it right here console dot right line number uh, around it to the nearest integer and it's going to be a placeholder and it's going to be a float uh, but with zero decimal places because it's an integer and the placeholder will hold y the result of the calculation now before that we can uh, over here we can do our console dot uh, right line uh, the number to round is and we will do uh, we will do the placeholder for that, which is our x over here. That's our original number. All right, so uh, we will we will write the original number, and under that we will write the result of the rounded to the nearest integer. Similarly, we will round to the round to the tenth decimal place so if I have a number something like 5.456 number 4 is the tenth decimal place all right so in order to do that I will copy paste all of these and our round now will still equal X that's the original number but we will round it to decimal place so uh, we will pass 10. We passed 1 to have the integer. We we'll multiply everything by 1. The x times 1. And uh, now the 10th place. So we will pass 10. And up, copy paste the whole thing again. And we will be to the 100 hundredths decimal place. So again, if the number is 5.5 four five six hundreds would be this five over here that's what we that's the number we will round and uh, so that's hundred and finally I think we do thousands right round to thousands yeah so I'll copy paste the whole thing once again and this is going to be thousands thousands decimal place so we will pass thousand to our function. Now over here, since this is tens, I want at least I want one decimal place, two decimal places, and thousands. I want three decimal places. All right. So with that done, after the while loop, I'll do console that read line. So uh, our screen pauses. Okay, let's run it. Let's see what we get. So I'll enter a number 
two, four, five, six. All right. So the original number to round is 1.2456. Round it to the nearest integer, 1, which is correct. Round it to the nearest. Oh, it says integer. I'm sorry. That's a. I, uh, that's the copy pasting for you. <laughs> All right. To the nearest 10 decimal place. To the nearest uh, 100 decimal place. Ah, oh, no, this one was correct. Never mind. So I'll copy this. This is the hundreds. Placed it over here to the hundreds. Tenth place. Sorry about that. It's just a uh, round it to the nearest tenth place. And we place this is nearest uh, integer. And uh, over here, this would be the nearest. Thousand, thousand decimal place. All right, so and again, integer has zero uh, decimal point places, and one, two, and thousand have three. So let's try it again. I have a number of one point two three four five. So original number one two three four five. Integer one. That's correctly rounded. To the tenth place is 1.2, which is correct because 2, 3, 4, 5 will round to 2. To the hundredth decimal place, we got the 1.23, that's correct because after 3 we have 4, so that rounds it down, that's correct. And thousands rounds to 1, 2, 3, 5, that's correct because after 4, which is our thousands decimal uh, point place, uh, is 5, so we round it up to 2, 3, 5. All right, so uh, let's try one more. 8.6472. So here's our original number. It rounds it up to nine, which is correct. 8.6 is the by tenth, which is correct. Because after six, that's four, so it rounds down. Hundreds uh, rounds to 8.65, that's correct. Because after four, which is a hundredth place, is seven, so we round it up. And our uh, thousands is uh, 8.647, which is correct because after 7 is 2, so it rounds it down. So now I enter a negative 1 to quit, and it displays everything, <laughs> and now it quits. Uh, again, over here, when we get the x, what we can do if x, if uh, x is uh, greater or equal to zero. In other words, if it's not negative, then we will do all these. Otherwise, we won't do anything. We'll simply exit the loop. Because what happens uh, is that it takes the x. I'll enter negative one, and it still try to you know it still go through all these lines and and does the calculation and displays everything. So, uh, but now, if I enter negative number, all of these uh, will be skipped. This will be only performed if the number is positive. Once it's negative, this is skipped. It goes to the while loop. This is this condition is false. X is now less than zero, so it exits the loop, and it goes to the last uh, line of the of the program. So I'll just I'll just test that very quickly. Uh, I'll enter 1.1111. So and you see, we got one, 1.1, 1.11, 1.111. And now I'll enter negative one, and it doesn't do anything. It waits for me to enter and quit. All right, so uh, fairly simple, very simple uh, function right here. Nothing to, you know, again, just keep in mind. The only thing when you look at it is you have to look for a pattern, and you see that the only thing that changes are these two numbers, and they're, they're the same. You got 10 and 10, 100 and 100, 1,000 and 1,000. So all you have to do is supply these, as a variable, as an argument into a function, and you got an overloaded uh, function right here. You don't have to, you know, do a separate calculation for each of those uh, variations. You can have one function supply the actual number, which is in our case is one ten hundred and thousand, and you have the uh, whole equation performed accordingly. 
So I hope it helped you and I will see you next time. Take care.